Today we're continuing with the last three tips of self-care for your emotional well-being. Last episode, we shared the first three tips for your emotional health. Mm. If you'd like to check out part one, please click the link in the cards above. Let's get started. Tip number one, art therapy. Mm. Even if you don't feel you are gifted in the art department, there are benefits for everyone when you allow yourself to explore creatively. Mm. You don't have to be an artist. This takes form in multiple mediums. There can be drawing, paints, pastels, scrapbooking and crafting, or just to name a few. Take a friend and try paint night. Enroll in an art class. Search YouTube for art therapy instructional videos. The second tip we have is to work with your hands. So gardening or landscaping would be perfect. You don't have to be a professional. Just get out there, experiment, try something new. This is going to allow you to get away from the screens, get away from social media. You'll be outside breathing fresh air, feeling the soil, smelling the flowers blooming. This all will ground you. No pun intended, of course. You can also create your own uh, memory garden for your baby, which is extremely special. Mm -hmm. And this gives you a break from the day-to-day grind, of course. Mm -hmm. Another opportunity for working with your hands would be to get cooking or baking. Mm -hmm. So trying a new recipe, uh, learning to make bread is great. Kneading dough, I hear it can be therapeutic. Uh, or taking a, uh, a cake decorating class. So stick around, we're gonna get to the third tip in just a second. Now, I'm Tony and this is Jeff Brabeck. We are the founders of Our Little Sparrows. Jeff and I hope that you are getting value out of this episode and invite you to stick around for the next episode where we share three tips on practical self-care. That may surprise you. Now on to the third tip, creative writing. And if you can, write with pen and paper. It is more efficient and an effective way of learning. You can blog, write poems, you can write a letter to your baby. You can also collect quotes or certain words that are significant to you and collect them and put them into a journal. All this is great. It allows you to explore your creative side, uh, to exercise the right side of your brain, which is the creative and artistic side. Artistic expression and exploration have proven to help people deal and cope in different kinds of trauma. So it improves your mental health and helps manage negative emotions. We invite you to explore your creative side. Ask a friend to join you and try something new. Start small, and then if it's something you like, go from there. Mm -hmm. And as always, Tony and I hope that you found this episode helpful. We want you to know that you are not alone. You are loved, and your baby will always be cherished. And we are here to help you in any way that we can. If you got value out of this video, please give us a thumbs up so others can find our little sparrows. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to get updates for when we release new content every week. And you have comments, you have questions, please leave them uh, below the video. Tony and I enjoy uh, communicating with everyone, especially answering questions. If you're watching us in the replay, you can watch the next episode in our weekly video podcast where we talk about practical self-care by clicking or tapping up above. And you can click or tap down below if you'd like to go deeper in our grief series, The Pregnancy Journey, Grieving from Diagnosis to the Loss of Your Baby and Beyond. Thank you for joining us.